Not too long ago, the sneaker resale market was thriving, with sneakerheads eagerly chasing after the latest releases. But now, the once booming sneaker craze has significantly declined, leaving everyone asking, what happened? Back in 2021 and 2022, there was a massive surge in demand for sneakers. People were obsessed with the latest drops from Nike and other big brands. Social media was flooded with sneaker reviews and collections from every corner of the globe. Like many others, I jumped into the sneaker conversation, starting my own YouTube channel to review sneakers. But the excitement didn't last. Today, the sneaker craze has noticeably cooled down. So, what led to this shift? Nike, a powerhouse in the sneaker industry, hasn't been immune to this shift. Nike is no longer dominating the running market as- Shares of Nike slipping this morning as- uh, Moving this morning, shares of the company plunging in the pre-market and uh, potentially wreaking havoc on some other companies as well. Since 2020, the company's stock has struggled. In May 2024, revenues dropped by 2% to $12.6 billion with direct-to-consumer sales down by 8%. This decline starkly contrasts the growth Nike once promised. The market reacted swiftly. Nike's shares plummeted by 20%, marking the worst single-day drop since its IPO. Investors are now questioning Nike's future and its current strategy. Nike made a bold move by cutting out middlemen and selling directly to consumers. Initially, this seemed like a great idea. It meant better access to sneakers at retail prices. However, this strategy had unforeseen consequences. For the average consumer, the direct-to-consumer approach was a win. Walk into stores like JD Sports, and you'll find Jordans and other Nike sneakers at retail prices, sometimes even on discount. But for the resale market, this accessibility has been devastating. Platforms like StockX and Goat which once thrived on the scarcity and high resale value of sneakers, are feeling the impact. Take the Kobe Bryant Reverse Grinch, released in December 2023. Even on these resale platforms, the price hasn't risen much above retail, a stark contrast to previous years. To adapt, resale giants like StockX and Goat are expanding beyond sneakers, offering everything from trading cards to high-end streetwear. These moves are attempts to cushion the blow from declining sneaker sales. But Nike isn't alone in its struggles. Europe's largest sneaker marketplaces, Restocks and Kiki Kicks, filed for bankruptcy last fall. Unfulfilled orders and unpaid refunds plagued these platforms, leaving thousands of customers frustrated and millions of euros in limbo. A Facebook group called AntiRestocks.net now has over 3,000 members sharing their stories. Smaller platforms like Restocks and Edit LDN are being squeezed out, while giants like StockX, Stadium Goods and Goat are diversifying to stay afloat. Goat's acquisition of the high-end streetwear platform Grailed in 2022 helped it reduce its reliance on sneakers, while StockX expanded its offerings to include everything from trading cards to PlayStations. But even the big players aren't immune to the downturn. In January, StockX laid off 40 employees, including its chief marketing officer, signaling tough times ahead. The overall trade volume in the secondary market was flat in 2023, and if prices continue to drop, the entire industry will feel the impact. In the 2010s, reselling sneakers became big business. Limited edition releases and scarcity models drove prices up, with demand peaking during the pandemic. But by late 2022, the market had overextended itself. As sneaker giants ramped up production, the market became saturated. Nike flooded shelves with Jordan 1s and Dunks, while Adidas did the same with millions of Sambas and Gazelles. The result? Resale prices plummeted. While the old guard struggles, a new generation of sneaker brands is rising. On, Salomon, Mizuno, Merrell, and Norda are leading the sports-style sneaker trend, blending performance with fashion. Collaborations like Ons with Loewe and Salomons with New York designer Sandy Liang are breathing new life into the market. While the hype may have died down, sneakers remain a staple in fashion. Enthusiasts believe that as long as brands continue to innovate, the secondary market will eventually bounce back. 
The fall of hype sneakers marks the end of an era, but it also signals the start of a new chapter in sneaker culture, one where authenticity and innovation take center stage.